With the autumn update this year, we've ramped up the develop module and we'll be introducing several new changes and updates. One of those changes is something that you might not notice right away, but you'll definitely feel it when you're changing and editing your photographs. And I'm talking about the processing speed at which the develop module now functions. Everything will be much smoother and uh, when you're playing around with your sliders, it's definitely something that you'll notice to extract the maximum from your photography. Let's go check it out. With this update, Zonar Photo Studio has refined the way it works and applies adjustments from the exposure settings. You've probably noticed a new section here already called the dynamic range, and it's one of the main changes with this update. So to give you an idea of how these new sliders work, we've prepared a photo right here that is quite underexposed. When we pull up the shadows in the updated version, we instantly bring the photograph to a new level of clarity and save it from deletion due to the function working more intensely. And we don't need to worry about any additional and annoying artifacts or smudges that would have surely popped up before. And to prove it, let's play around with this photograph in the prior version of Zoner Photo Studio. Notice right away how the intensity of the effect is much lower. But it's not just about the intensity, but the overall quality after using the sliders. Let's jump to another photo and I'll explain what I mean. Okay, so let's bump up the shadows and slightly raise the exposure for this photo. When we compare it back to older versions of Zoner Photo Studio, notice the overall quality of the picture now. You should notice quite a difference of quality, especially with the lights and shadows. The latest version keeps everything much more natural and respects the overall dynamics of the original image while avoiding any loss of color. Furthermore, we've included three new settings and that's the texture, blacks and whites. Blacks of course can help us lighten things up as well as darken them and the whites will affect the lighter areas of the photograph. Of course, there are scenarios where we might not want to affect the shadows at all. So let's go take a look. Here I'll raise the shadows and notice how the changes also appeared on the trunk of the tree as well as on the bird. This isn't necessarily bad as that's precisely what a shadow slider should do, but this is a situation where I don't really want that to happen and I'd prefer to keep the shadows as they were. So we'll use the black slider, which focuses primarily on those darker areas. Now let's reset the shadows, pull the blacks way up, and now you can notice how it nicely only affects the darker parts of the photo and completely leaves the rest of the photograph unchanged, like the trunk on the tree that we were bothered with earlier. And yes, the trunk and the overall right side of the picture is overexposed, so we can tune that down using the light slider. And as we just demonstrated, the new processing capabilities allow us to wield better results from the exposure tools than before. We can now tune and change even average photos to not have any extremely over or underexposed parts, as well as any obvious shadows. This is also a fine example of each slider truly doing what it's supposed to do and so that we can predict what they will do for us even before we start editing our picture. In addition to what we just covered, we have a completely new redefined noise reduction tool. Let's check it out with the first image I used earlier. I think this will serve as a good example of what the tool can do in its updated form. Let's zoom in to see the noise and you can see some of that right here. Now let's try reducing it. If I go overboard, then we'll still have a good looking result, but it's much better to do it in small increments as to keep the photograph from becoming completely blurred. Now there is a method of combining the sharpness tool with the noise reduction, but we'll save that for another video because there's a lot of information and things we can cover there. While we're using the noise reduction, notice there is now a detail preservation tool as well, which will further help us achieve an overall balanced edit in regards to the noise reduction. All right, let's switch back to the older version to see the difference in quality and check that out. If we move the sliders to this intensity, the photo is just plagued with spots, stains and artifacts and so forth. And now if we go back to the latest version, Notice how the image is clear and retains all of the sharpness that we want.
And this is the innovation that Zoner Photo Studio has made regarding the noise reduction since the last update. Now we've got another function that's coming out in the develop module with this autumn update. And you might have noticed it earlier in the teaser video that was released and it was dubbed the texture function. And the texture function is going to help us highlight and bring out small little nuances and details in our photograph. If we compare the clarity function, which has been a part of the program for a while now with the texture tool, then the new texture tool will affect the lighter contours in a picture. Using this photo here, Notice the change that happens to the model's hair when we push the slider to the maximum. And when we use the clarity one instead, we actually affect a greater portion of the photo and add much more contrast to the various edges and lines. Again, the texture will affect a, the greater details, but to a much lighter extent, and it won't be as invasive. So texture works best when we're using landscape photos, animals, animal fur, or any other kind of organic pictures where we just want to highlight some of the nuances and details and bring them out in a very sensitive manner. So in this video, we covered all the new updates that we're going to feature in the develop module with this autumn update. Of course, there's a lot more that will be there that we didn't have time to cover, but I urge you to download it, give it a test ride, and let us know what you think because your feedback is important to us. Anyway, Thank you, stay safe, and see you next time.